Every day we get energy into our bodies by eating things. We like some things that we eat and we dislike others. But why is this? What is taste? And how do we taste? Smell. Did you know that people who lose their sense of smell often have very limited taste? It is detected by the olfactory epithelium in your nose, but that's a video for another time. Texture is detected by specialized neurons called mechanoreceptors. Mechanoreceptors work in an amazing way, which is that when something pushes down on them, a little key is fitted into a hole. Once the key, known as a neurotransmitter, fits in, an electric signal is sent down the nerve, eventually sent to the brain where it is received and interpreted as touch. Our tongue, just like other parts of our bodies, has thousands of these, and our brain can interpret a detailed texture as a bunch of different electric signals. Temperature is detected by another type of neuron called a thermoreceptor. There are two kinds of thermoreceptors, one for heat and one for cold. The hot detectors work by having some C-fibers, proteins that are on the neuron's cell membrane. They start a signal to the brain by changing their shape in the presence of heat, similar to how enzymes change shape in heat. Cold detectors also work using C-fibers, and the detectors interpret the C-fibers' lack of signal as a reason to send out a signal to the brain. This is called inverting the signal. They also have a TRPM8 protein along the axon, which, just like C-fibers, triggers the action potential as a response to heat. To learn more about how neurons work, watch Davis and Ali's video explaining them. This is an animation of a TRPM8 protein changing shape in response to heat. It allows ions through the cell membrane, triggering the action potential, just like the C-fibers. This is an accurate representation of a TRPM8 protein, but it doesn't just change shape in the presence of heat. Watch more to keep learning. Fake sensations of temperature, like mints that make your mouth feel cold and chili peppers that make your mouth feel burning hot, work using two main methods known as chemisthesis and thermogenesis. In chemisthesis, the TRPM8 protein changes shape in the presence of certain chemicals like menthol in cough drops, eucalyptol, and isillin. This triggers the same signal that would be sent to the brain in the presence of the cold. In thermogenesis, an enzyme abbreviated as circa is triggered by muscles compressing that release a wave of calcium ions. It then burns a bunch of ATP in order to pump the calcium ions back to their respective place. However, in the presence of certain chemicals like capsaicin found in chili peppers, circa is reactivated and thus starts to try to pump calcium. There is no calcium to pump, so instead the energy from the ATP burned by circa is released as heat. This is a realistic animation of what circa looks like when it is changing shape. Lastly, taste. We taste through small bumps on our tongue called papillae, or taste buds. These are mostly located on the tongue, but some are on the roof and back of your mouth and throat. There are between 2,000 and 5,000 taste buds on the front and back of your tongue. Each bud has 50 to 100 receptor cells on it. Taste can be categorized into a combination of five known different basic tastes, sweetness, sourness, saltiness, bitterness, and umami. Most of us have heard of most of these tastes except for umami. It's just a word for savoriness, like in tomatoes, or also in red meat. Neurons taste food in a similar way that enzymes break down molecules. 
There is a lock and key mechanism in taste cells that certain foods fit into. When the food molecule fits into the taste bud, a cascade of reactions happens within the nerve cell, which eventually trigger an electric signal that is sent to the brain for interpretation. There are usually specific nerve cells for different tastes. And as always, thanks for watching.